Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I've got a bunch of stuff to share for, with you today from Stamperia. And we're going to start with uh, Songs of the Sea, and there's just all kinds of extras that come with this. So we're going to start, uh, what I've got laying in front of me is the core design, the backgrounds, and I think I've got some collectible sheets. And then after that, we're going to go through all the bits and yummy stuff that you can get on the side. Also, it comes with some rice paper. So I want to start by sharing with you that it comes in the 8x8, both in the collection pack and the background selection. I'll move that out of the way. And then we're going to focus on looking at the elements actually inside on the larger scale 12x12. So this is a very pretty collection. <clears throat> Mermaids. Scoot over so I'm centered. Very pretty. I like these cut aparts. I'm glad they add them. Oh, look at that. That's neat. <laughs> That's pretty. Very pretty. The ba their backgrounds um, or the flip side on their cut aparts are always so gorgeous. I half the time I want these to be up. Okay. Very nautical. Very pretty. Again, the backs are so pretty. Oh, I could see um, doing this in multiple layers so that it sort of comes off the page at you. <clears throat> There's some interesting things that you could actually fussy cut out. And then there are standard circles, which I like because it's a very organic shape compared to the rectangles that you commonly use in albums. Okay, so that is the collection pack. And now we've got the backgrounds. That's pretty. It's a nice, simple, clean page. Got some fish scales. That's really pretty. That would make for a really pretty 12 by 12 layout page. Oh, that's fun. Fishnet. Oh, I, I love that. Very pretty. Very pretty. There's that pattern again. So these are much more muted and uh, the browns are going to be very easy to, to use. And as you can see, they make a beautiful contrast with these blues. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that is the 12 by 12. That's both the scrapbooking pad and the background selections. So we've gone through that. And again, the 8 by 8s are the same thing. Now we're going to go through the beautiful rice papers. And rice papers um, are traditionally used in a decoupage kind of fashion. So in addition to these A4s, we also have these A6, the A6, which is uh, a slightly different array of papers. Here's what you get. Um, we have each one of these rice papers available individually except this one, this collage. I'll bring it a little closer. So everything but this one is available in an individual sheet or you can buy the six printed sheets that I just showed you, which includes this. Then there is the, um, the A6, and as you can see, there are different backgrounds. So these are, slight, these are slightly different, and obviously a much smaller scale. Okay, so that's the rice paper we have. All this is in stock and available to ship right now. Here is the collectibles. Let's see, what is this format? 
uh, six by 12, six by 12. I think these are all neat. I think they're called sextons, but I'm, I'm not positive. For navigation. I think that's neat, the one that's coming toward us. So these are uh, double-sided. So if you wanted to do a dimension, dimensional pro, uh, project, um, you could uh, put something on the bottom to hold it up, and then it, you've got something on both sides that matches. These are double-sided too. And then here, you've got a choice. You can use the pattern or the cut aparts. These are neat. They're a nice size too. And those are double sided. Wow, this is really pretty. It's nice bold statements here. Very steampunk with the gears everywhere. That's neat. Up here, they find a way to work it in. Okay, got some portholes, and that is the collectibles pack. Now, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the wood shapes that are available. So these make for really pretty interesting, and the color on the wood is very vibrant, um, dimensional elements for your project. And now, the chips. We've got decorative chips. In these three packs, I really like these. Okay. Now we're going to start getting into some of the die cuts. Now this is what, what do we call these? Seven cards, five tags, and bookmarks. So that's what you get in here. So this kind of reminds me of Graphic 45's um, ephemera packs. They're old ephemera packs. Um, except you get some bookmarks too. So that is a nice collection pack and hopefully you get a pretty good look. All of this is in inventory and there are images available on site to take a closer look at. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff here. Lots and lots of elements. And I'm going to go through them and pick each one up. They don't show us pictures on the back. Um, but I will kind of go through them because did he say that he okay so the top three all are a little bit thinner they're thicker than the cardstock and they have adhesive on the back but they're not as thick as chipboard these two are chipboards so um, I think she's got these labeled online as you know, one, two, and three, um, but I'm not sure. But she will make a distinction between each one. So let's see, does it say song? No, it doesn't. I was looking to see if sometimes they name each one of the packs. Um, this one has got, it's really hard to tell without opening it up and making a mess. Um, Yeah, it really doesn't say. So this looks like it's more geared toward the gears. Yeah, okay, so on the back you can kind of see. So you got a trunk and an anchor, and then this one is more the shells and the um, coral. <clears throat> more steampunk, more nautical, and then this one is um, more of the sea elements. So those are the three with the adhesive back, and then the two chipboard sets. Um, see if there's any indication on the back of what they are. It doesn't really say. Um, yeah, I wish they would name them so you could tell the difference. Everything in here looks almost circular. And then in here I can see there's the mermaids, there's some fish, stars, um, a couple of tags. So there's, there's a wide variety. This one has larger circles. I don't know if they're like portholes. I can't quite see them. Um, but check it out online. And again, everything you see here is available online. I'm going to be back in just a moment with a new collection.
Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I've got another Stamperia new collection to share with you. This is a romantic collection, and the difference is the romantic collections uh, do not have backgrounds. So it's just the collector's pack. It's very pretty. I think this is so sweet. Um, I, I really like it. <laughs> very fall colors. Um, and these look like beautiful watercolors. Okay, hedgehog. I'm a kind of a fan of the hedgehog. That's a beautiful border. Little birds. Nice background for a 12 by 12 layout, um, but it also allows for you to do some layering on top of it because it's not so busy. Um, and the pattern's not so strong that you can't lay another pattern on top of it. Okay, oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, I told you that this is a romantic collection but i forgot to tell you what it's called it's called woodland i think everybody did a woodland this year very pretty got lots of cutouts card toppers or embellishments for your pages journaling cards or cut aparts and these allow for you know, embellishing around your photos as well as just adding dimension to your project. Again, that's Woodland. That's the 12 by 12 10 face double sheet pack. Now we're going to look at these rice paper selections. So if you buy the rice paper six printed papers in the A4 pack, these are the images that you're going to get. And I'm going to go through them real quick. So here's one. There's another that's pretty. You can cut those out and use them just as bits. This would look really pretty around the edge of a box. There you go. So those are the A4 rice papers. Here are the wooden shapes. I think we only have one set of wooden shapes. Let me look at my cheat sheet. <clears throat> yes, just the one set of wooden shapes. Then of course it comes in an eight by eight collection pack. We have three coordinating decorative chip packs. I like the leaves a lot because you could use them in, you know, anywhere. It doesn't have to be with this collection. If you didn't want to, if you wanted to use one or two, you could still use those someplace else. And then there is the hedgehog with some more leaves and fruit. Here's the decorative chips. Yeah. Total of three different designs. Okay, we have a pack of chipboard, the woodland chipboard. So it looks like it's got florals. It's got some animals. It's got a little bit of everything in it. I wish they gave us a picture of everything, but they don't. That's a Stamperia thing. And then we also have this pack, which is the ephemera, which is adhesive on the back side. It's a little bit lower profile. Ideal for cards um, that you're mailing. You want to use the lower profile. And then the last part of the collection are these uh, cards and I think tags. Yeah. So you get seven cards and five tags and one bookmark i like these a lot so i'll be right back with yet one more collection from stamperia okay here i am with our last collection uh in this reveal for stamperia and this is called roseland and um there was a collection that was just like it but it was blue so it was called blueland it comes in um eight by eight twelve by twelve this is a romantic collection and does not have backgrounds. Let me verify that. Headshot, where's my cheat sheet? That's right. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the collection inside. Oh, nice. Lots of cut aparts. Cute. It's a um, good little Christmas European Christmas. Postcards on the back side, I like that. 
very pretty. Very sweet little girl's uh, album. More cut parts. I like the nice background options that they have. Okay, more cut parts. These are, I like that scale. Got some sentiments over here. And that is Roseland. Now, in addition to that, we have rice paper. And in this collection, we have just this one's sheet. And it is just a floral spray. Let me put a white paper behind it so you can see it a little bit better. There you go, I hope. So it's a floral spray and it's pink over here. So we, all of this is available in stock. And then we've got um, die cut and the ephemera pack. So the ephemera adhesive is the one that's a little lower profile and um, has a peel peel off backing and it's already got adhesive the chipboard's a little denser and you have to glue that down that is concludes all the collections that have just been released from stamperia that are all available in stock right now at scrap and create.com take a take a moment to like share subscribe and head on over to scrap and create and check these collections out we'll see you soon